Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to resolve the invalid data type specification error in Snowflake. This is seventh video from Snowflake common errors playlist. So here we don't have any PowerPoint slides. We directly jump into demo. Okay, let me log into Snowflake and uh, let me open the uh, you know worksheet which okay when you click the projects under the project will be seeing worksheets notebooks streamlist dashboards app packages so select okay uh, worksheets click on worksheets then this is the my worksheet how to resolve the invalid data type specification okay, okay. I, I open the worksheet Okay, let me uh, you know set the uh, context for the current SQL worksheet. This is the my current worksheet. You can open any number of worksheets by clicking the plus symbol. So this is the my current worksheet. So before uh, running any commands, we need to set up setting up the context so that you no need to specify the fully qualified names. Okay. So prior to that, let me set the role and warehouse for my context here you can run the one by one okay uh, uh, command or you can select the more than one command and then click this one run button so that uh, these two commands will execute one by one okay and now i am going to create a database called demo db for this demo purpose i need to create the database and schema and then table okay so what is the uh, current uh, database for this context or in this worksheet so the moment when you create any database so that database would be the your default database you no need to explicitly set the context as a database so let me see the current database select current underscore database current underscore database is the built-in function to know the what is the current database has been set for the uh, worksheet current was worksheet so now demo database is there now i am going to create a uh, <coughs> schema so in in snowflake we can create two types of schemas one is the regular schema another one is the managed schema i am not going to you know, explain the what is the difference between a uh, regular schema but i am going to show you the how to create the regular schema uh, and uh, managed schema so this is the regular schema i have created and uh, if you are going to create the Managed schema, you need to use the extra with managed access. So, if okay, I am uh, let me create the ma managed schema as well, and schema name would be the different Salesforce one. Okay, so here Salesforce one is created. Now, I have created the two, uh, you know, schemas. Okay, one is the Salesforce, after that, uh, Salesforce one. Then, what is the my current scheme, uh, current schema for this context? So, the current schema context would be the Salesforce one okay so because recently I have created the Salesforce one schema so how we are going to differentiate uh, you know uh, regular schema versus uh, managed schema if you uh, see the okay source schemas if you run this uh, uh, okay we have your uh, column called the option so options where we you see the for regular schema uh, you know uh, blank is there for managed schema we have a managed access that's all okay so this is not our topic but i am just showed uh, uh, okay how to uh, create the schema with managed access now let me set the context okay uh, schema is the currently the salesforce one now i have i am going to use the regular schema so use schema Be okay please note that here i didn't run the uh, use database database name because I have created only one database, so that is the recent database which I have created uh, from this uh, session or uh, uh, from this SQL worksheet. Okay, so now I am going to create the table. Okay, this is the table. Okay, account. So generally, when we are going to create these kind of tables, when you are planning to ingest the data from uh, source system is the Salesforce and the destination is this Snowflake. Okay, now how you are going to ingest the data that would be that would be the different case you can use the etl tool to ingest the data from uh, uh, salesforce to 
snowflake okay so prior to that you need to create the table structures to uh, you know uh, insert the data okay so the uh, table structures would be different i mean table structure means uh, columns or data types would be different between salesforce and snowflake for example one of the data type is currency currency here if you see currency 1 comma 3 that means here in this currency they are going to you know store the number in, in snowflake equivalent to number from snowflake so here precision is the 3 and scale is 1 okay so currency 1 comma 3 means okay now what i am going to do i am go i am going to keep the as it is 1 comma 3 here another column is 3 comma 10 okay now i just replaced a, a currency with number and i didn't change the uh, 1 comma 3 like okay so let's see what is going to happen in this case okay here as per the snowflake uh, number data type here one is the precision and 3 is the scale so now let me create the table okay so yeah so invalid data type specification 3 greater than 1 please note that the fix is very simple okay only thing is that in salesforce few tables have um, you know more than 100 200 300 400 up to 400 columns will be present so from that assume that the currency data type columns with the currency data type may have uh, you know 10 records 10 10 columns if the 10 columns the syntax is different from uh, snowflake and uh, you know salesforce because there in the uh, salesforce the uh, precision is okay in the second position and scale is the first position whereas in snowflake is reverse okay you have to specify the uh, you know precision is the first position okay and uh, scale is the second position that's why we got that error because uh, while creating this table i just replaced the uh, you know uh, number okay okay so currency with number i didn't replace i didn't change this one okay so now i'm going to change the swap these values okay here three is the precision and one is the scale that means uh, 1.2 uh, 1 10.2 like that we are going to uh, uh you know insert the data like that now i'm going to create the table again okay this time i'm going to get the same error okay invalid data type specification but this this part is different here 10 greater than 3 because this 10 greater than 3 if you search with like that we don't find that okay uh you know a string from the our table script okay so that's why i am making this video for our understanding okay now here also let me change the or swap the values so 10 would be the precision and 3 would be the your okay scale in, in snowflake okay so now i am going to create a table this time table account successfully created okay this fix is very simple the thing is that uh, you know uh, if you have a 300 columns out of 300 columns 10 columns like this okay if you forget to uh, change this one we are going to get this kind of errors so that's why i just made this uh, video okay so that's all from this video i hope this video will be useful uh, for your day to day work uh, explicitly when you are uh, you know working with uh, you know Salesforce, okay. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos. See you until next time.